Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio. How are you? It's day 71, you guys, of the 100 Day Craft Project. I hope you are all well. Let's shuffle up these cards here and see what we're going to get today. Um, I'm pre-recording, as you know. Today I will be with my children. Uh, let's see. I want to shuffle them up good so we can maybe get some cards that we don't always get. Um, yesterday we got the orange dragon, and that was new. I think we've gotten it once before, because like I said, I did these cards in the 100 day project and we went through each one on its own. And now we're just seeing what we get, seeing what we get, you guys. Oh, we got the watermelon dragon already, but I guess we need it. We need it, success. I don't know why I keep pulling the same ones. Success. Maybe I need them. <laughs> I need success. I do. I do need it. I do. I do. Okay. So, the meaning of success is congratulations. That project you've been working on will get the go-ahead. This dragon is a harbinger of... I could probably see these by heart. <laughs> it's chubby. This dragon is a harbinger of well-deserved well-deserved success. Something you've been fostering will gain popularity. This is a sign of approval from the universe. You should be ready to strike while the iron is hot. The card hints that the timing is very important and don't delay your enjoyment of the sweet flavor of triumph. Okay, so success, success it is. That's our card of the day. Hopefully you are all successful as well in what you're planning and endeavoring for yourself. Oh. <sighs> My goodness, I keep getting the same cards. All right. And um, my beautiful blessings. Yes, I need to find those. Hold on one second. Beautiful blessings is going to go to, um, let's see. Let me pull some names here that I haven't seen. I know I have a lot of new followers, and I'm very grateful. Um... Beautiful blessings to Linda Graves. Beautiful blessings to Lori Riddle. And beautiful blessings to Candy Botkins. Beautiful blessings to you. Thank you for commenting on my channel. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so yesterday, well, last video, <laughs> yeah, we were finishing up this one. So let's finish up this one. And I'm um, going to round the corners. These are so cute. They're adorable little journal cards. Whoopsie. Well, that wasn't good. No, I needed my scissor cut around there. Um, there we go. And we'll do this one. Okay. That one got it, too. All right. This one needs to be fixed here. I'm still cleaning my printer, you guys. Uh, it's a little bit... Well, the diagram says it's a little bit better. I really don't know if it's printing better. We'll have to see. Let me take off this right here. It's causing. There we go. All right. So I had these fabrics here. This is like a, I forget what it's called. My sister told me it's called like a, um, excuse me. It's called like a. A, sh a, um, <clears throat> oh, a shiny cotton, linen cotton. It's like a, no, it's not a linen. Well, it kind of looks like it. It's a cotton, but it's from like the, I think my sister said it was from the seven, oh, uh, 19, yeah, 1930s maybe. I don't know if I want to cover up everything. All right, let's see. Maybe we'll do it up tall like that and then um i had some i put away i put away some things <clears throat> i did i put some things away from the last video and we'll just finish this one up um how about oh yeah look at that we'll use this one so this one this label goes upward oh did i oh good uh, I was like, I thought I left my drink over there. Can't do that, especially with all this talking. 
So how are all of you? I hope you are all well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I truly encourage, if you are new to my channel though, I really, 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 really encourage you to go check out my other videos. I have been doing the 100 day project. We are on day 71, right? Yes, day 71. <laughs> and, um, and I do have lots of videos. Oh, this has like circles in it. It's cute, isn't it? I do have uh, lots of videos um, before the one had, oh, maybe we'll put that in there. Oh, let's make, make a little fabric pocket out of it. That's cute. Let's do that. <laughs> I do have, um, you know, lots of videos from prior. And the 100 Day Project, um, if you're new to crafting, if you're new to paper craft, I did start the 100 Day Project um, with things that you can get started from around your house. Um, so if you want to go and check that out, it might be beneficial to you. It might help. Um, even if you're not new to crafting, you could you could go check it out too. <laughs> okay, so let me see. Just the three. Maybe I'll do it. Oh no, I'll do it here. <clears throat> Did I press record? Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting. You know, when you do videos in a row like that. Okay. So I'm going to pick this up and just place it on the corner here. So that we can tuck in the little tag, the little fabric pocket. <laughs> That's cute. And then of course, I like when things dangle off the top. So let's see what I have, because I, I don't know. No, I don't want that. I don't even know. Maybe, oh, maybe I have, um, let me see. Let me see. I always have stuff over here on the side. If any one of you saw my cleaning video, <laughs> you'll be able to know that I have stuff everywhere. I have stuff to the side of me. I have stuff behind me. I have stuff in front of me. I have just stuff everywhere. Hold on. I have a piece of uh, red. Oh, yeah. Well, that's cute. Let's see. I mean, if we're going to do it, we might as well do it, right? <laughs> might as well just do it up good. Okay. Oopsie. Oh, wait a second. How about we put it, maybe we'll put it on here. Huh? Oh, how cute would that be? Let's do that. <clears throat> Let's put this up there. like that and I will just put I won't I'll just attach it just on the back how cute like this that's my child that's okay though he's just texting me that he loves me and he hopes I'm having a good day <laughs> but look how cute that's adorable I like that one okay and oh yeah, we need we need some we need some journaling spot back there. Hmm. No. Hmm. That's good. Let me see what else I have. This is a bigger piece. Well, that's good. Let's put that. Um, I'll just ink up around the edges rather than rip the rest of it. Because it has some white. And that's okay. And with a dark pen, you can write right over this. Okay. So... I'm gonna go do this. Here we go. And we'll just 
screw this up and put that right back there like that I need a card there we go now is the journaling spot back there look how cute I love that we'll have to make more of those that's cute with a little piece of ribbon on there okay so that concludes our little our little journal cards with the birds and the flowers <laughs> cute cute wait hold on one second I have to okay here we go is my timer on oh did I start my timer oh my gosh I probably didn't oh, I didn't you guys uh I would say we're going like 10 minutes already well, let me put let me start it I started at 25 minutes okay we'll see how much we can get done um I had an idea and this is possibly an idea for maybe even for Mother's Day happy mail let's move these over to the side I'm having a problem with my printer but I do have some printed and I figured why not give them a try now I don't have the originals in front of me and I can tell you sometimes I forget so I do I did have a tutorial for them and let me just take a look here and I also had, um, I had a paper. Okay, so I named these. I named the letters. <clears throat> There's printables. I don't need all this stuff. Hold on. Okay. What happened here? Alright. So I have my letters this is my letters kit there are three different folds i named them so that they could be easier for you and easier for me <laughs> easier for all of us to fold them there were three ways that they used to fold well there's there's lots of different kinds of ways but in basically there were three different types of folds for the antique letters so there was one was the slim fold one I named the slim fold, one I named the top fold, and one I named the half fold. So I'm going to, hold on. All right, I'm gonna take one of each and we'll do them together, okay? For right this minute. <laughs> I'm gonna take the slim fold and then we'll do the top fold and then we'll do the half fold and then we'll do some more fold <laughs> okay so I named this the slim fold and the reason why I named it the slim fold and this is my kit this will be the front part and then this is the letter part I named it the slim fold because in order to fold your letter correctly you have to take your sheet of paper this way and you have to fold this in now your bone folder works the best with these let me get my bone folder Where did you go? Where did you go? Here we go. Okay, so I do have to take this off, of course, and I will. I will do that. But I'm gonna just fold it the way I am gonna teach you now. So I call this the slim fold. All right. The reason being is because you have to fold it in a tall, narrow type way, making the eight and a half by eleven piece of paper slim. And this is in my shop, these letters. Each one are named when you print them. It's the front side and the back side. It tells you if it's a slim fold. It tells you if it's a top fold. And it tells you if it's a half fold. So these are the, this is the slim fold. I'm trying to get this as best to the line as I can. <clears throat> I see that I went over just a tiny bit. So let me try it again. Okay, that might be better. Okay, there we go. That's the reason why I named it a slim fold, because you're folding each side in and making it slim. 
like that. Now there's your letter on the back side, and what you're gonna do is take this over and fold it. And it may not be 1,000% precise, but I can guarantee you that it's about 99%, 99%. I worked really hard on this kit so that we can all fold letters like they used to. And then we're just gonna go ahead and make this right here, like that. And then what they would have done is just insert it in there like that, or even tucked it under, and then just, now it's white right there because that's where it was attached with the, with the wax seal. And there you go. There's your letter in the front. Now I could see where I didn't do it all the way precise, so I can go ahead and fix that. That's okay to fix that. It's okay to bring that up more, the fold. It's okay. You don't have to get it all crisp at one time and guarantee you that the more you do this and the more folds you put in it and the more you crease it and the more you play with it, the more real it looks, you guys. The more real it looks for certain. So we'll go ahead and fold this down again. And then your bone folder is your best friend in this in this in this craft, in this folding of this. It definitely is your best friend. Your creases, the more crisp they are, the more real your letter looks. Okay? And you can also just take you can you can take this, depending upon how bulky your paper is, the less bulky your paper, the better it fits inside of each other like that. But there you go. That's our letter. That's number one. That's the, that is the slim fold. I named it the slim fold. So we're going to leave that for right now. And then we're going to go to the, we'll go to the top fold. Now the top fold is where I do, I called the top fold because what it means is that your eight and a half by 11 piece of paper is this way. All of them start this way or they move, but this, we're gonna start it this way for the top fold and we're gonna fold it down, meaning that it folds from the top down. So we'll fold this one over. I may have to check these, these fold lines. They're in there, you know, cause it's, it's an antique letter. But, and then also, this is going to be a bit bulkier to work with because I used linen paper to print it out on. This is the color of the letter. Uh, however, I printed it out on linen paper, you guys. Okay. And then, now you're going to fold it up from the bottom, like this. Folding it up from the bottom. And then I'm gonna use my bone folder to make my creases. Now, now we're gonna fold it over this way. And I may have to check my, I may have to check my creases again. I just check. And then we're gonna fold it over this way. Mm -hmm. Now this has all of the letters seeping through and you can this you can push this in here you can put it out oh, give me one second you can push this in here like this and you can put your little fold right there um, and then this is the front of the letter you guys this is the top fold all I did was fold it from the top you saw me do that you saw me, right? I folded to the top and then I folded up the bottom and in the side and in the side. And there's your letter right there on the front. And this says that it's a top fold when you print it out. So that's how you fold the top folds. Now we're gonna go and fold the half fold. This letter is a half fold letter, which means that they wrote on half of the sheet of paper and the way that they folded it up it became the envelope on the other half of the paper so i'll show you how to do that it was folded over so i'm gonna i'm gonna do that one more time i'm gonna fold this over so it's kind of like a book page so that you can see 
the letter on this side. Now I, ha I have to really be mindful of these um, folds in here because I did print this out on graph paper. You can print your stuff out on graph paper too, you guys. I just gotta take a look here to make sure that this is all good. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna fold this right here like this. I'm gonna fold it on the line. I have to remember how this goes now. Okay, and that's okay because it's all right to play with it. Once you know the, the way the letter was folded, you will be able to match it up the best you can once you know it's fold the way that it was folded. So being the half fold, the top fold, or the slim fold. Once you know that, it's golden after that. You're good to go. So you see now, this has that the crease right in here. So I'm just gonna crease it up. And then I can see there's another crease in here. So if I creased this over like this, look at that. My stamps match up, you guys. They match up. Okay, so now I see that I am, I need to get my flaps in. So now I'm gonna open this back up because I did this half fold, but now I need to fold up the flaps. So I'm gonna fold them up here and here like that, not all the way. And now I'm gonna fold this up like that. And there's my closure, you guys. On this side, like that. Now, I'm gonna take this. Now, this is a little bit thick. The paper's thick, so of course it's not folding like, you know, precisely, but it certainly is very, very close. Very, it's very close, you guys. And with some, with some wax seal, you'll be able to close that down just like that, and those stamps look like they were meant to be there. Sometimes the paper doesn't work in your favor the way you want it to, and that's okay. You make sure those creases are really, really stark. Very, very stark. And you just tuck it in there. And you can close that up with a wax seal. And you can stick it in a pocket somewhere, you guys. Now, I have some more letters here. We'll go ahead and do some more. I don't, I know that I don't have any more half folds. And I don't have, I might have one more. No, I have one more slim fold. I want to say this is a slim fold. Or, I forget now. Mm hmm. Here. I think I had one more. I was, you know, this is what my printer is doing. It's being so bad. It has lines in it. It's so bad. I tried numerous times. So I have these ones. Isn't this gorgeous? This is this is my letter kit in my in my shop. This is a I believe this is a top fold. So let's go ahead. And this was printed out on coffee dyed paper. I coffee dyed it a long time ago. But I'm gonna go ahead and print this one out. I mean, I'm sorry. Fold it up. It's the this is the top fold one, you guys. So I'm gonna fold it from the top, and then I'm gonna fold it from the bottom. Making sure that I'm on my lines. And if there's some white left on your paper, you can trim that off with the trimmer. I'm not going to do that right now because we're just doing this for decoration. For, I mean, for demonstration demonstration. Now I'm going to fold this over like this and I'm going to check my, I'm going to check that I'm in the crease. I am. And I have another faint line here that I could see and I'm going to fold this over like that. There we go. And then I'm going to take this and stick it in here like this. Ooh, I really made everything crispy. Okay. 
And you just gotta wiggle it, that's all. Just wiggle in your bone folder, make it stick in there. It will, it'll eventually go in. There we go. Just keep working it like that and it will it will go in there we go now everything's in good and then you can just go ahead and do your bone folder again over everything making it stay down and you could put your wax seal right there because that's where it was in this letter you see that so now we have two two we have three and this one this was a top fold too so we'll go ahead and do that I'm pretty sure this was a top fold, pretty sure. But like I said, you can take off the tops and the bottoms where the whites are. I'm just not going to do that right now. You can also age it so that it looks appropriately aged. And I did teach this in my other videos, but I'll go ahead and do some now. So you can take a little pokey tool because this looks like this looks like it was in, um, in, in something, like it was attached with a string. So you can go ahead and poke through there like that with the little pokey tool or a paper clip, whatever you want. And then if you want to age that a little bit, you could just take some of your ink and age around this little tool, uh, where you put your little tool thing. And on this side too, don't forget the back sides too. Okay. And we'll go ahead and do this now. We're gonna fold this. So it's a top fold. I believe so. I believe it is. If um if I start, I, I think there was one more slim fold. I just don't know. I can't remember what I all printed out. And of course I have them named on my printer. And then my printer started malfunctioning, so I couldn't print anymore. Yeah, this is a top fold. So I'm folding the top and the bottom. Oh, and don't forget, you can cut that off. It's no big deal, but we're just leaving it on there for the sake of leaving it on there. And then I'm gonna fold this over on the crease. Okay. Fold it. Make sure that we use the bone folder really good. And then I'm gonna turn this up like this. And get that down like that. There we go. There we go. And now I can I can take this and tuck it in here. Or I don't have to. You can just leave it like that. But I'm gonna tuck it in. Give it a tuck. I'm gonna use my bone folder to make sure it's in there good. Like that. I'll go ahead and smooth those down just like that. There we go. And now I would just take my wax seal and put it there. Maybe we'll do some. Oh, look, you see now, I didn't fold it right. I didn't check my front. So I still have a fold mark up here that I could see. So if you do, and I, and I also have one here, but there's a stamp there on there. Hmm. So let's take a look because it's stamped on the fold. A full stamp is on the fold. So I think, I think I might leave that there. I think so, but I'm, I don't know about coming in anymore. I, oh, maybe. Oh, what did I do? Well, let's come in some more. Let's just go ahead and do it. We'll come in some more like that. And we will come down some more on the top like that. It's okay. And refolding it and bone folding the spots again makes it feel more authentic. Trust me. <laughs> and we're just going to go ahead and stick this in here again like this. And these are fun, happy mail. Um, they're fun. They really are. Fun little happy mail. Um, fun to put in your books and there you go that's that letter right there 
we have this letter right here. We'll go ahead and stick that in there like that. There we go. And we have this one and this one. Look at that. So pretty, right? Don't you think so? I think so. I just love them. And then, I don't know. Which one was this? Let's see. We're going to, oh, we may have this one here. Um, let's take a look here. Which one this was. Well, you know what? Since I can't figure it out, let me just use my own intuition to figure it out because I printed it out from the printer and I want to say maybe maybe it was a slim fold I think possibly it could have been but not a true slim fold <laughs> let's see I really don't think it was a, it has to either be a slim fold or it has to be a top fold. And I just don't think it was a top fold at all. Um, so let's see. I think this might have come over here like this. And they could have done it this way too. Like that. Oh, yeah. I think it was a slim fold, you guys. So we're going to fold this over this way. So now the slim, um, I do have a video tutorial showing you <clears throat> exactly how to fold each letter that I printed out um, in the kit. So this is not the full kit. Let me see here. This is not the full kit. So, hold on, let me look. Yeah, okay. So this went here and there was a wax seal right there. I'm thinking, I'm looking, hold on now. You see how this goes? It's a little, it's a little tricky if you, t if it's not worded, if you're not looking at the words. Let me just see. It also possibly could be that this page, this page is, um, is smaller than eight and a half by 11. And I think that some of the pages, yes, it is smaller than eight and a half by 11. So some of the page is missing. Some of the print is missing. That's what it is. It is a smaller page. So we're just gonna work with it. So now, as in this being a slim fold, I'm I'm folding this over and this over, and then folding it in half this way. And folding this over and this over. But if you go back and look at my tutorial for the letters and you buy the kit, you will see every every detail of every letter that I folded when I printed it out in the correct way. I hope that helps you. <laughs> okay, aren't they gorgeous? Aren't they so beautiful? I just love them so much. And then I also had with the kit, um, I hope that I have them here. Let me take a look. Um, I had, I don't know if they're here or not, but I know I just was playing with some stuff before. I had some stamps. Oh, here we go. Yes. Oh, look, and I have more. Oh, I have more letters here. Ooh. Look at that. That's all I have. Okay. So this one's pretty. Oh, some of these are the same. This one's not, though. Okay, the timer's going to go off, but I have an idea, so I'm just going to go with it with you. 
and then I'm actually going to age this up a little bit here. So let's go ahead and do that now. And I'll just stop the timer because it is going to go off. And I'll finish this one with you. And then I'll let you go. I'll finish this little project with you. And I'm just going to go in here and just take something out so that I could finish this. Now I'm, I'm using a little craft knife here. And I'm just jaggedy edging, like ripping a little bit, this white. I'm ripping it off here. Now that's how the white's going to be when you print it out um, from your printer. It will be like that. Um, I'm not going to try this up here. I'm going to leave that for right now. I could do that later. Or maybe I will do that. No, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it right now. You could do the wax seals. I won't, I was going to do the wax seals, but since I have to clean these up, I'm not going to do the wax seals, okay? I know you guys will understand. You guys know how to do the wax seals. And although it will look so pretty, they're not ready yet. <laughs> they're not ready. Okay. So now I have these parts ripped out of the paper and I just did it a little you know, I'm just rubbing my knife back and forth and kind of like ripping the paper off, not really precisely taking it off. That's how I do that. <laughs> and now, and now I take my, you can take vintage photo, you can take uh, linen, burlap. This is walnut stain, it's a bit darker. You can use black, you can use whatever you want. I'm looking for, here, we'll use some antique linen. And we'll just go ahead and, I have already the, the um, vintage photo on here too, but the antique linen will be on the top. And I'm just putting it right in the creases like that. And then if you had to rip inside your page or whatever, you can just crimp, crinkle it up a little bit. This one, I don't have to do that, but I am getting it right in here in those grooves. I'll go ahead and let you see that now, what I did. Whoa! Oh no, I didn't put the right cap on. That's the only thing I don't like about these Tim Holtz things is that they always come apart. Whoa! See, they come apart. And if you're not careful, your ink could dry up. Okay, so I I went ahead and inked all in here and did those rips in there like that. I didn't take this off. Like I said, I'm not doing that right now. I know that this is a top fold just by looking at it and you'll get to know that too when you start making them as often. So I'm just going to bring this down here like this. I'm pretty sure this is the top fold. That would be really silly of me to say that on camera and have it not be. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is, though. And if it's not, oh well, I'm only human. Okay, and then now I'm going to bring this over. I'm pretty sure there's the line right there. I could see that this um, happened with my printer here, too. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, my printer is a squitch. Okay, and then we're going to bring this down here like this. Just like that. And fold that over, and then you're going to bring this in here. And this is where it's all ripped, because that's where they had the wax seal. Isn't that really neat, you guys? And you can go ahead and take your, your bone folder as your best friend with these letters. Bestie. It's your bestie. Believe me. I'm sticking this in here. Up. And I'll go ahead and crease this again. Crease that again. And crease that again. And there. That matches. Not perfect, but it still matches. And you could put a wax seal on here and no one will ever know the difference. And now, this part I was off just a bit. And I'm just going to leave that though. 
I am. It's a tiny little bit and I'm gonna leave it right now just for demonstration purposes, only because our timer has went off and I wanna get this finished and show you an idea of what to do for a cute little happy meal or a Mother's Day. Um, if you wanted to, let's just say you had pictures of your grandchildren for just the sake, if you had children, grandchildren, your own children, um, your own children, uh, pictures of your animals, um, anything, old pictures, old pictures that you wanted to make your mom a gift, anything, you guys can, and I think I'm only going to do one, we'll just do this one, let's just say you had some old photos, like this, you could stick it in there and do the wax seal, of course, but you can stick it right in there like that. Isn't that adorable? And and you could just stick it in there for them <clears throat> so that when they open the wax seal part of it, when it, they open it, they will get those little letter or those little pictures in there and the pictures will mean something to them because they'll know who's in there <laughs> if you used real ones. And we'll put this one in here. We can put this one right in here, like that. And you can do anything you want. You could even put, you know, you could even put um, like a little note in there for for whoever is receiving this. I think I wanted this to go in both things. Oh no, that's fine. Okay, so that's just an idea. And then where is my Scissor. So this is printed out on sticker paper, and it's it comes with the kit. It's a whole sheet of stamps, you guys. A whole sheet. Yes, it is. A whole sheet of stamps. So you can print it out, and you'll always have it. I'm just going to trim all around here like this. And like this. Now, this letter didn't have a stamp, so... I say let's put a stamp on there and I will now of course I have to use this tool to get it off the sticker paper there we go okay and all of the stamps are coming upright like this but you don't have to do that you could do a kooky you could put it on sideways like that makes it look kind of real and you actually can put the stamps on all of those things you don't have to just put it on you don't have to put it on the one without the stamp you can put it on any letter because um guys it makes it feel more authentic <laughs> when there's a real raised stamp like nobody can tell i'll show you I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to move this over to the side. And then you can trick, you can trick people, you guys. You can trick them. Look. Let's do this one. Um, let's do this one. We'll put it right here. Just like that. Look at that. No one would even know. And it's a raised stamp. It's raised can you believe it? <laughs> okay. Then my next idea is, of course, in this kit, there are not only all blue letters. Okay. There are cream colored letters too. There are gorgeous cream colored letters in there. There are envelopes in there. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But I'm thinking, let's make, let's do this. Hold on one second. Hold on. I'm going to get something. Hold on. And I'll be right back. I'm coming. Oh, don't fall over on me. Let me see. Okay. So, for Mother's Day, how cute would it be? Hold on. I'm getting this. I'm getting, I'm opening it up. My package here. How cute. How cute. How cute. Where's my jar? Hold on. I'm coming. I have ribbon. Um, where's my, where did my jar go? <laughs> Where'd you go? 
I found it. I found it. Don't worry. Oh, and we also, you guys, we also have those hearts that we made. Ooh, maybe we could do something with those too. Now, I didn't finish them off on the one side like I said I was going to do. <laughs> of course I didn't. Because I'm a busy, 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 busy person. Um, I like, well, I like that one. Oh, what if we put a stamp on there? Huh? No, it's too big. But look at this, you guys. Let's go ahead and get one out. What if we did that? What if we did that, you guys? What, what if? Maybe I'll put that on a string. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to take this this way. How cute, you guys, would this be? to receive it in happy mail or as a gift for Mother's Day. And inside, inside each of the little envelopes, you put um, pictures of your family, your loved ones, um, inside each one. Maybe, maybe you can do one for each month of the year. And then um, the person can open it like January, February, March, April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. You could go a whole nother year. Wait a minute. Let's do this right because I did it way too big. Okay. I don't even know. Do I want this ribbon? Yeah, I do. Right, you guys? I want this ribbon. Okay. Maybe we can wrap it around twice. Hey, you never know. No, I need it to come back around this way. And twist it yeah I want it to be you guys know how I like the ribbon you know it you know it I don't even have to say I just wrap it around a bunch of times and make it look so pretty pretty okay and we'll just wrap this bow on here like this and then oh look how gorgeous I just love it so much and then we can use some string mm-hmm we can. We can use some string. And we can put this right through here. Because we know that there's a hole in there to do that. Hello. <laughs> Come on now. Okay. And then we'll put this on the key. Like that. Oh my goodness. How cute. Possibly even we could get a twisted tangle. <laughs> okay. Then I'm going to put this right on here like this. And then we can just undo this bow because we know we want that right there. And we'll just leave that right in there. And I will go ahead and retie the bow. O M G. I'm going to leave this length here, though, because I don't know that I'm keeping... I, I still have to redo this whole package anyway, because you know, you know, it's not all correct. But look how cute would that be to receive um, in a happy mail. How darling. All those letters, and to be able to go through them. If each letter had some other special surprise in it, maybe you can even put like a little stamp for the month that they could open it and each month they can open it like um like a pen pal mail like here if you have a friend my little gypsy has pen pals oh my gosh she has a few few of them my little little niece all right so i'm going to um i'm going to let you guys go because i have i i have to get going and go upload these videos but yes so this is my idea you guys, <laughs> a letter bundle, a, a letter bundle, um, happy meal. And I do have the kit. It is in my shop. I will link it below and I will see you guys again tomorrow. You guys for, um, uh, day 72. Bye for now. My crafting buddies oh, was day 72. Yes. Wait. Oh, um, now I forget, but you know, I said it right in the beginning of the video. <laughs> Bye for now. My crafting buddies.